The hole feature in presets allows you to quickly add holes to parts. This part automatically creates a sketch and the hole feature. As with other features in Alibre, you can either pre-select the planar face and then select the hole tool, or you can select the hole tool and then select the planar face. To access the hole feature in presets dialog box, access it by selecting main menu, feature, hole, or find it by going through the hole icon button in the 3D sketching toolbar. To create a hole, choose a hole type from simple, counterboard, counter drilled, counter sunk, or tapered. Presets will be covered in a few moments. If the hole is to be drilled rather than bored to a specific depth, check drilled and enter the drill bit angle. Select a surface or plane to drill into and it will be displayed in the start surface box. The reverse option flips the direction of the hole 180 degrees like reverse on the extrusion tool does. If this will be a tapped and threaded hole, fill in the depth unless it will go all the way through. If not tapped, fill in a hole diameter. Select a depth condition. To limit geometry lets you select a surface to define the depth of the hole. If this is to be a tapped threaded hole, choose the series in the drop down list. If not, select none and the next three thread related boxes will not appear. The Libre design supports all of the series listed here. A 3816 UNC series threaded through hole is going to be created on this plate, so select series, type, and length. The source list allows you to choose what size hole to be shown. Generally, the minor diameter would be the solid circle and the major diameter would be the larger dashed line circle around it. The name label is a designation this hole will have listed in the Design Explorer. While the dialog box is open, every time you click on the surface, you'll place another hole there. Now select the hole location and dimension it for accuracy. The hole can be dimensioned and or constrained as long as the dialog box is open or you can go back later and edit the hole, as will be explained in a moment. Holes always stay on the plane of the selected surface. This hole was placed in this angled surface as an example. Threads are denoted by a note in the 2D drawing such as this one for the hole that was just created. Threads are not shown because they are very memory intensive. If you need actual threads on a part, use the helix tool. If you need to make changes, right click on the hole in the Design Explorer. Editing the hole sketch will only show you the nodes, which is fine for changing the hole's location. Editing the hole itself will show you the dialog box and the nodes. Presets in a hole dialog box allow you to create, name, and save commonly used hole settings. Presets are little like web browser favorites or bookmarks that save you the trouble of typing in a long web address every time you visit one of your favorite websites. A preset is a short set of instructions about how to create a particular hole, like a short quick recipe. Once a hole is created using these instructions, there is no connection at all between the instructions and the hole. If you ever need to copy your existing presets for use on another computer running a Libre design, for example, you'll find them saved in the Libre Unicode file, which can be found in the following locations. Initially, the drop down will be empty. To create a preset, enter all of the options and values for the hole you want to use. Enter a name for the preset you are creating and click on the Create button. The whole preset will be saved to your computer. The Alibre Unicode HPS file is updated when the Alibre Design Home window is closed. This tutorial covered the whole feature and presets. You learned how to use these tools to quickly add holes to parts. Please refer to your manual and the help files for further information and examples.